Hey, beard lovers. My date never called me back last night. I guess it didn't work out. Forever alone. <coughs> what I say about watching me cry, guys? Back to your chores and then to the alligator pit. Why am I so sad? Life on this planet ain't so bad. I have all of you wonderful people. Let's see what's going on in the news on our wonderful planet. Planet confirmed that could have water. What? Kepler 22b is the first confirmed planet in the habitable zone. The area around a star where a planet could exist with liquid water on its surface. I'm so there. I'm sick of this planet. We can't even award Bradley Cooper sexiest man alive without backlash. Well, on old Keppel, which is now the nickname of Kepler 22b, I'll be the sexiest man on the planet and there won't be any backlash. Unless I request it. I'll use my new space rocket I've been inventing. Where is this planet? It is located about 600 light years away. Oh, man. So far my rocket only goes 300 light years an hour. That's two hours! Why do habitable planets always have to be so prohibitively distant? I can watch a movie on my phone. Let's see, what do I watch? This will be the last bit of earthly culture I take in before I step foot on another planet. How about Twilight Breaking Dawn Part 1? I only choose that movie because it's the current top grossing movie at the box office. I've never actually even seen a Twilight movie for the seventh time. There, now I've got a movie to watch. This trip should be a piece of cake. Or should I say beefcake? Why do I say these things when I'm straight? But the runtime is only 117 minutes. What do I do for the last three minutes? Ooh, I could watch Wheezy Waiter. Love Wheezy Waiter. Hey, beard lovers and all that. I prefer the old stuff, though. So what should I take with me? What's the weather going to be like up there? 72 degrees Fahrenheit? Guess I won't need clothes. Probably some cookies, some coffee. Picture of me eating cookies and drinking coffee like I used to do back when I wore clothes. A megaphone so I can get any potential aliens to worship me. A pile of money so I can finally make it rain without having to go back and pick all the money up afterwards. Well, that about does it. Zippity zip, let's take a trip. I am such a dork! Always gotta check space news before you space travel. Two black holes, most massive ever found, astronomers say. Bah, can't be that big. The mass of each is about 10 billion times the mass of our sun. Ooh. Uh, maybe I can avoid them if I get close. Up close, black holes will be invisible to the eye. Oh, so I run into a few. No biggie. If you were to fall into a black hole, the difference between the gravity near your feet and near your head would be so powerful that you'd be torn apart. <laughs> Uh, well that's only two black holes. The universe is a big place. We should continue observing to see if these black holes are the biggest, or if they're just the tip of the iceberg. Iceberg? Iceberg sank the Titanic. I'll never be king of the world. Unless they're referring to iceberg lettuce. Then I'd be okay. But I almost never order salad. Maybe I'll just stay home and watch Twilight. Ooh, cookie. Mm. Wheezy waiter! I miss the old outro. Since I'm sticking around, let's try to make this planet a little better. Donate to dowhateverittakes.org to orb. Sorry, I guess I was thinking about planets. Dowhateverittakes.org to help end youth homelessness. I have cookies on my lips. Gross. We have eight days left to meet our goal and less than $2,000 to go. And then if we get the goal, I will build an igloo in my parents' backyard and sleep in it overnight and broadcast the whole thing live. Also, my band is playing on Saturday the 10th in Racine, Wisconsin. Info in the doobly-doo. The band would have been pretty upset if I left the planet before our show. I'm just kidding. I never would have left.